But first tonight, owners of local bars, they are trying to stay in business. And tonight, county leaders, they are giving them a new lifeline. They are now allowed to move gaming machines away from bar tops. Well, thanks for joining us tonight, everyone. I'm Ty Quinones. And I'm Trisha Keen. Those working in the bar industry are asking the governor for a complete reopening. Austin Carter is live where a protest wrapped up just a little while ago. And Austin, this decision by the county could help a lot of businesses. Hey, Trisha, that's absolutely right. Certainly some good news today for taverns when it comes to their bottom line. But for bars this week, they've been told that they need to keep their doors closed. Valley Bar employees and owners protesting this afternoon near Sunset and Pecos against Governor Sisolak's emergency directive extension, keeping bars closed amid the coronavirus pandemic. He needs to make the decision to open up all bars, and if those bars don't comply, then, then deal with that. But to close them all down, that's not fair. After reopening in May, the second shutdown of bars due to the pandemic happened in July after a statewide spike in cases. Taverns in Clark County having just a bit more luck allowed to stay open and today another option for gaming is allowed at those locations and that motion carries a unanimous vote at a Clark County Commission meeting approving a resolution to allow taverns to use seven standalone gaming machines instead of ones at the bar. No more than 15 total gaming machines are allowed in an establishment. Commissioners think it's the right move. Businesses in general are going to see some yo-yo effects, and I think that this gives us a little bit of flexibility. But bar managers like Tara Jurgens of Apache Joe's Bar, who are still closed, are fighting for a chance to bounce back and don't think they're being given a fair chance. Everyone said we are compliant. We've never had any complaints, but still we're shut down for nothing that we did wrong ourselves. Those we spoke with questioned how casinos with hundreds of people inside and possibly harder to enforce social distancing rules are allowed to remain open. Meanwhile, their businesses continue to suffer. It's sad that he's punishing the little guys and letting the big fish swim. And you know what? Some have actually already taken action. Actually, 37 bars and taverns here in Southern Nevada filed a lawsuit against Governor Sislak's order to remain shut down. If you'd like to read through that lawsuit, we have all the details up on our website. Head over to KTMV.com.